know a lot about Joe, so ask, ask away. All right. Yeah, Ellen DeGeneres obviously knows her Joe Maurer trivia. Last night she won a Twins jersey for answering a couple questions about him at Target Field, and she is continuing her tour of the Twin Cities today. Natalie Kane joins us live from Nicollet Mall in downtown Minneapolis, and uh, Ellen was just there, wasn't she, Natalie? Yeah, she, she's creating quite a buzz around here now. Hundreds of fans literally were out here just about an hour ago in front of this, of course, iconic Mary Tyler Moore statue right in front of Macy's. And in case anyone was wondering what they wanted, the fans certainly made it clear. You could hear the chants from down Nicollet Mall. There it is. We want Ellen, and they were doing that for hours. And even Mayor R.T. Rybeck came out to declare it uh, Ellen DeGeneres Day in Minneapolis. Now, she wanted it to be national and for a year, and they later landed on a little bit of a compromise. They settled on a week. So I thought that was awfully nice of them to negotiate. But you know, that's what Ellen is known for, laughs. She got a lot of laughs for saying that. And she's also known for being positive and inspirational, so much so that people are willing to get up before dawn to score a front row spot to see her. Ellen has got me started every day for six months before I go to the hospital. I watch Ellen and she gives me my laughs and my hope for the day. She puts me in a good mood at 9 a.m. Has been making the rounds around the Twin Cities. Like we said before, she was at the Twins game last night. She posted this photo on Twitter that made me laugh personally, and she accompanied it with a, a tweet that said, I'm having a little drink, or as I'm calling it today, a mini soda. Ha ha, love that one. And now, next, she's heading to our studios at WCCO to cut some promotion spots. As we've been talking about for a while, she's going to be replacing Oprah's show at 4 p.m. Coming up really quickly here, Mike. Yeah. For a while, and it's coming with some clouds, at least for now, in the Twin Cities. Most Mostly cloudy skies, but there is some drier air working in. So we expected this period of cloud cover during the middle part of the day. I expect it to leave here before long, but in the meantime, it's uh, kind of gray, kind of cool, and in some cases, a couple of passing showers. The Arrowhead boundary waters back down toward northwestern Wisconsin. Couple of pop up showers, even where they're their heaviest, say traveling here uh, along I 35 just south of Duluth. We've got a couple. Got some things happening here. <laughs> well, hello. Careful of that area right there. That right there. Don't touch that. How yes. are you? Good. How are you, Mike? I'm great. How nice lost, to meet you. Nice to meet you. I lost a remote in my hotel room, and I was like, "What's the weather?" So there I, you go. You control so, the weather. All with right. That. What does that do? Well, that means oh boy, <laughs> we're going past everything. That's what you're doing. <laughs> it's going to be windy. So you're standing in front of the heat wave. Oh, it's, oh, it's there hot. There you go. Yeah. Uh -oh. Hey. <laughs> Careful. Uh, it is going to get a little cooler get though. Yeah, come you. on over okay. here. I'll, I'll give you the, yeah. the pointing. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Hit the button again. Uh, it would be the green one, one in the middle. The no, green one. one. There you go. Oh boy. Okay. Now it, you've really broken. Why it. do we care about <laughs> Oklahoma? Don't we care about where we, we do. are? We do. We do. We're going to head up to uh, to Minnesota. Let's go there to Minnesota. Go. Here we go. 70 right now. Minnesota. In the Twin I'm in Minnesota. Was it cold I, outside? No, it was not cold. It was uh, it was pleasant. Pleasant. It was pleasant. You're the first person what? to not complain to me today, by oh, the way, about the weather. So it was humid excellent. last night when I was at the game. Yeah. But let me ask you the difference between um, partly cloudy and partly sunny. Dartboard. Okay. Whatever we decide, right, it's good. just the dartboard. No, right. partly sunny is Isn't more sun. Isn't this fun? This Isn't is great. It? Look, I'm the, doing the weather. Keep talking. All right, I'll keep talking. Okay, so high pressure coming I'm in. I'm so sorry to interrupt. I that's, want to know as that's well. It's okay. okay. We're talking about the Twins game tonight. So let yes. me get out of the way. Okay, you, me too. You're you're just covering the stadium. It's not a problem. First pitch tonight, 7-10, breezy and 68. Middle innings about uh, 8:30 or so. You'll want the long sleeves, so you'll need to roll those sleeves down, Ellen. And then for the final uh, out tonight, lighter wind about 64 or so. And uh, as we go through the overnight tonight. Night. The winds will calm down. It'll be clear and cold. Coldest night in a while, about 55. Ooh, it's chilly. 76. Grab a buddy. Nothing but sunshine, Nothing coming, but sunshine up, coming up everybody. tomorrow. And then as we go through the uh, next couple of days, it's going to be more this type of air up here, up here in the Ooh. Red River Valley. Those 80s, come on over to this side. Okay. <laughs> there you go. The 80s. Let's do it together. Coming this Let's way. This is nice. Let's pull them here. Wow. Along with some Does that look good? Potentially oh, a little bit that. of rain shower activity coming up for Thursday. Aside from that, though, it is going to be a pretty nice stretch of weather. Here's the seven-day forecast. Up close to 80 by Friday, and then oh. this is the big finish. we got to get out of the way so people don't get annoyed. Uh, by the weekend into Monday, it's near 80 again <laughs> with some <laughs> sunshine and uh, mostly dry weather aside for some storms on Friday. I guess, I guess maybe that's it, although I'm willing to turn over the entire show to you if you want. Oh, this is so much fun. I'm going to go sit with them over here. Yeah. Hi, what are y'all doing? Go right ahead. Uh, hi, how can cool? I sit with you? you Absolutely. Sure can. How cool is this? Hi, yeah. how are you? Nice I'm to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. What's going on? Um, Amelia is going to be back with an interview with you coming up. 
Oh. Is that good? I was supposed to surprise you. Did you know I was here? That was an absolute surprise. Good. For us. Yeah. Okay. We're very surprised. Okay. I think Mike is a little shell shocked over there. Just a little bit. You know, <laughs> it went well. Fun I've had here today, so. I'm uh -huh. telling you, that's very hard because the little uh, secret. There's nothing on there. It's just green, and he's doing that, and then things appear. It's magic. It's better than like a David Copperfield show or something. We're hearing, yeah. we're hearing your hear music, music now in our ears. I have music. Yeah. yeah. We got to go to the break. We'll okay. be right back. I don't back. hear anything. Y'all are we'll crazy. We'll be right back. <laughs> Excited! Ellen is here, and Ellen, we can I call you Ellen now? Because I feel like we're old pals. My name is Ellen. There you go. Call me Ellen. Well, you know, now we're going to have you at four o'clock. That's a new time frame for you, and then we come on at five o'clock news. So we're very excited about that. I'm excited too. I can sleep in because that that early. <laughs> what, what, was when it was I on you? here? When? Nine o'clock. Yeah, that's Nine too early. Too no, early that's for you. Too, for everybody, everybody should sleep in. So uh, four o'clock is great. Okay, we're thrilled that you're here in Minnesota because that's really a big deal. You came here last night. I saw you at the Twins game. I was. Your first baseball game, My major or minor. My first ever baseball game here. Yeah, here you are. What'd you think of it? Uh, I thought it was great. There was a lot of stuff going on and people hitting balls out places and <laughs> like people and just bats and all that. And then there's everybody was dressed the same. It was great. And people cheering. It I, was. I, it was great. Now that was your first day back to work, right? Uh, I've been off for the summer, so it was my first kind of uh, big uh, going outside. And I've, I've been in my house with my animals and on my farm. So it's been kind of quiet. Been very, very quiet, and all of a sudden there was a lot of people going, Ellen, yeah. which I'm not used to. Yeah. No. I mean, you know, at home, my housekeeper, Ellen, but. <laughs> just one person. Other than that, it's just her. Yeah. How was, what do you think of Minnesota so far? You know? I like it. Yeah. I like it. I've been here before. When I did stand up, I used to do uh, a lot of the love your clubs stand up. Here. Love it. Yeah. Do you thank, enjoy? Oh, do you oh, thank you. I didn't mean I love my stand up. I mean I love it here and I love the crowds here. Uh, do you enjoy? Do you still do a little stand up here and there? Or? I don't. I do. I don't get to travel. I'm I'm at the show all the time. But I do. You know, my my show. I start out doing a little bit of comedy. Mm -hmm. A little bit of dancing. A little bit of dancing. The audience dances. I, I like the audience to dance more than I like to dance. But they dance every day, and I like that. And you were talking about we're talking about having it cool in the studio, and there's a reason for that you like it nice and cool in the studio yes people if you're coming to a taping uh, bring layers bring sweaters but then you take them off because it gets hot because everybody's dancing in uh -huh. commercial breaks and stuff like that but um, when you're doing uh, any kind of show especially comedy you want to be cold because when you're hot it's kind of you get lethargic and yeah. you get really tired and so all studios are usually pretty cold it's not cold in here right now but you're not this putting, isn't too bad no this is pleasant but we have it very cold in my studio and it was a little cool out on Nick Lamont I know that you were there today today we declared it well the mayor declared Ellen DeGeneres Day well then we turned it into a week so it's the whole and week. He, he's pushing for a year yeah but uh, I'm pushing for a year he didn't right. want to do it I had to <laughs> fight him oh he wants that. you to move here that's yeah, what it was that's right now this crowd I have to tell you I don't know if you knew this or not but the police told us that people were lining up at like 4 30 this morning this morning just to see you and you were just so gracious giving everybody a high five and running down along does that just energize you seeing that much people out there and cheering for you it energizes me and sometimes gives me a cold because look at all the hands that I had to touch <laughs> that's sickness coming you don't have right Purell now. with you to, yes okay. no, and then there's Purell afterwards no I it's it makes me uh, very happy I get nervous because people have babies and they're like shaking Here, their my baby. Like, I can't hold your baby um, but uh, or maybe they're trying to give them to me I don't know I don't I, I know that I was voted like a be a good parent or something like that but so that could be it maybe, maybe that's what it maybe is they're trying to give me their babies no thank you hey, well, you know what we have you <laughs> she's saying no thank uh, you don't cute. pass the babies I to like her the babies, though. Well, we have a picture of you on the cover of Oprah magazine mm -hmm. uh, you're coming up on season I love that uh, you're coming up on season nine what are you looking forward to um, just uh, you know being back at work I love the energy in the audience I walk out there every single day and that crowd that I you know walk into that room of, of love and joy and where do you get that? I mean, I, I feel like I have the best job in the world that every single day I have love and positive energy that, that comes towards me. And I, I give you that You can see back that. You can feel your enjoyment, you know, yeah. and yeah. that you, you're just really passionate about it, too. I love too. what I do. I'm, I'm very fortunate. Is there any guest that you would like to have on that you haven't had on? The Stones would be oh, great. That Lin would be Linda and Bill uh, Stone from uh, <laughs> No Mick Brooklyn. Jagger. No, okay. No, right. them they'd be great. Would but be no, they were. I met them at the hotel the other night, the bar, and they were lovely people. The Stones. Well, so well we're looking if forward. If you're out there, come on. <laughs> we're looking forward to season nine, especially at the new uh, new time. And you know what? If this talk show thing doesn't work out, you can always <laughs> right. or I'll just do the weather. Got to get up at 1:30 in the morning. That's all. That's all. Is See? that what you do? You yes. study the weather? Yeah, oh, I do. I didn't know you studied it. Okay, we, we gotta go. We got some music playing for us. Ellen. There's more music? I don't hear anything. Oh, you know what? We need an IFP for her. <laughs>
All and right. there you are again. Thank you so much, guys.